round table and this meeting of yours. So I would like to thank uh, GNA and of course uh, the director Cappellini for uh, this invitation. And I would like to greet all the participants to this meeting. I've listened very carefully and with a lot of interest, uh, uh, your discussions, your recommendations, and the results of this project that you have just uh, pointed out. Um, so congratulations for this project that is very much in line with the European challenging uh, challenges that we are facing now. And um, I would like also to, to tell you that um, your vision, it's uh, at the very heart of my political engagement because I am a daughter and a wife <laughs> of two micro entrepreneurship. So I am very much aware about the challenges, the problems and the needs that the companies you represent at national and European level are facing. I would like to say that before the pandemic, uh, uh, this issue of the skill mismatch was um, uh, was actually an issue, especially for micro and small companies. Uh, the afterpath of the crisis has worsened the situation, and now it's imperative, as you have pointed out in your intervention, to invest in the upskilling and reskilling of workers and at the same time of entrepreneurs especially to face the green and the digital transitions. Um, so you're right when you say that we ha you have to set objectives for sustainable competitiveness, social fairness and resilience. Um, Crofts and uh, SMEs um, need adequate qualified staff for long-term growth, for get better productivity and to innovate and to ensure their competitiveness. So upskilling and reskilling of the workforce, but also for the employed people gives more opportunities to the European workforce to be future proof and to ensure future employability. Um, training on digital and green skills should become thus the priority in the short and medium term. In this particular moment, um, we need to increase investments in people's skills and we have to use all the tools and funds available at the national, European and local levels. Um, this is particularly important and I would really raise your attention on, uh, on this um, situation we are living now. As Europeans, we are living uh, two crises at the same time. We have uh, uh, the crisis linked to the recovery of from the post pandemic uh, and now the war in Ukraine. I say this because I see this risk nowadays. The beneficial results linked to the national uh, plans of um, economic growth and resilience could be jeopardized by these economic sanctions that we have imposed to Russia and uh, that for sure are uh, having and will have consequences and serious con consequences on our economy. So this experience shows us that the European Union needs to be more in independent in terms of uh, energy sources, critical infrastructure and raw materials. So nowadays and at European level, the issue of the self uh, capacity for the European Union to be independent from the energy and food point of view is, is now the priority of our political and future policies. Um, of course, there is much to do from governments, uh, much to do from political uh, decision makers like uh, European Parliament and National Parliament, but a lot has to be done from the civil society and particular social partners who are called to manage these transitions and changes. Um, our society and our economies are thus undergoing major changes. Inflation is rising and business and workers need concrete answers to face these new challenges. 
employers and uh, business organizations as uh, the ones you represent uh, are playing a central role in managing the complexity of the current situations and need to be supported. I think that at the same time, there has to be uh, give uh, in particular attention to the new system of industrial relation at European and national levels. Social partners need to move on a path of redesigning the labor markets and includes a new set of rights emerging from the new employment trends and the changes that the labor market is facing nowadays in terms of new professional skill and competencies linked to the green and, and uh, digital transitions, but also to the new form of working linked to digitalization. And I guess that uh, craft and SMAs are very much looking forward how to face this kind of challenges. Also, from the point of view of social dialogue at European level should uh, need, I guess, a profound reform. In my opinion, the role of the social partners at European level cannot be maintained in a conservative approach. Let me, <laughs> allows me to make this reflection, but really going towards a new and complex challenges we are raising. We are now facing the arrival of 3 million refugees from Ukraine in these last three weeks. And so we are really facing all together this big transnational um, situation. Um, the European uh, social partners, in my opinion, are, are in the good path because they already find a role both towards the institutions and this dialogue with European Parliament is uh, is a fact, but also towards their national members' organization. And in this regard, um, they are really in a position not only to better coordinate among yourselves, for instance, today we are talking about vocational training, but also to promote new models, new ideas, which could be important and essential for the development of the national organizations and the business. Um, the European Union is more connected now than uh, it was many years ago, and the internal market is an essential aspect of the European integration. But in order to, fun to function properly, this internal market requires transparency, fairness, equality, and above all, fair competition. And in my opinion, and this is really in the heart of my political engagement, craft and SMEs are not put in the right condition to have a fair competition in the term market. They need more support. They need more support from institutions and from national governments. Um, this is why I believe your project that you are presenting here today has a great added value uh, in, in terms of this kind of discussion and uh, to indicate a way further. Um, actually, we are able now to put together at the European, national, and local level, all working together to find out solutions to train workers and entrepreneurship to face the digital and green translation in a very and in a more inclusive manner. And I would say that um, I think your project is particularly important, uh, uh, also because can help us as uh, political decision makers. Um, to recognize the European right to have vocational training, because this is not an European right. This is very much linked to the willing of companies and craft and small and medium companies uh, could not be in a position to effort these challenges of vocational training if you are not coordinating in, in, uh, among yourself as your project today it's, uh, um, it's demonstrating. Um, the pattern up process that you are proposing with your project is really essential to meet the concrete needs on the ground and to respond to the specific characteristic of uh, crafts and small and medium companies. Um, considering the complexity time that we are living, we have to change and the duty of build uh, this new European Union and the 
companies you represent are really at the hearthstone of this process because we are we have to do all we can uh, not only to react to this challenge but also to observe observe external shocks and so on for a European Union be more closer to citizens and business. So I would conclude to say um, that we all have to face in the next days and months um, challenges that was unpredicted before. Uh, so this means that to all together, we have to take unpredictable decisions for our future. Um, for this uh, reason, I'm looking, I'm very much looking forward to support your project. So as European Parliament, I'm at your disposal to uh, support the follow up of your project. Um, if you estimate that we can help you to have uh, a voc European vocational training, uh, I would say, uh, table of uh, discussion and dialogue uh, between your network and uh, the European uh, members of the European Parliament, I would much um, help you and support in um, in this, this um, in this your in this future path of yours. Thank you very much.